Hi, I'm Mooney Mike, uh, Mooney 201 er and I'm loading up my uh, Mooney M20J for an expedition to northern Canada. Uh, right now, flying from Linden uh, to Goose Bay, about a seven, seven and a half hour non stop flight to get uh, repositioned into the region for some uh, phenomenal, uh, interesting uh, northern country flying. Let's go. The traffic, when he's departing runway 27 to the north, Linden. All right, cruising along at 900,000 feet, uh, making uh, 150 true airspeed, 150 knots, about 128 indicated, 9,000 feet, running 62% power, 0.3 gallons an hour, uh, is quite efficient, uh, making good 16 nautical miles per gallon uh, on the uh, fuel. Everything's on track and route. Ground speed with a bit of a headwind, 133, 132 knots. True airspeed, uh, ground speed rather. And uh, currently about uh, a little less than halfway there. Already uh, passed into Canada, has been talking to Montreal Center, who's like my uh, flight plan go for the free Canadian charts and procedures. So, uh, well en route to uh, Goose Bay, Canada. So uh, in order to fly to Canada, I had to uh, do a couple of uh, small things uh, a little bit different than flying in the U.S. Not too different, nothing to be afraid of. But uh, first thing was to order a CBP uh, decal. Uh, it's just a matter of paying the fee. And then they send you the decal, the number. You need that when you're filing the EAPIS. Now, um, Departing the U.S., uh, got a file in EAPIS uh, to uh, get clearance for departure. Also going to need to file one coming back to the U.S. In addition to that, I also had to call the CanPass uh, 800 number to report my uh, arrival into Canada uh, prior to departing the U.S. And then once again on the ground, uh, once I land in Canada, before exiting the airplane, we'll have to call uh, back into CanPass and. Uh, uh, get a confirmation of arrival. After that, it's all uh, domestic flying. The other thing is you have to be uh, fluent and proficient in uh, French to be able to uh, fly in Canada. Actually, just kidding, they uh, speak uh, English as well, but it's a bit unusual not to be able to understand uh, all the airplanes that are on the frequency, so you have to pay attention to that uh, as we're uh, talking to Montreal Center here. Quebec Radio, Quebec Radio, Quebec Radio, Mooney, November 4361 Hotel. Mooney, November 4361 Hotel is over Yankee Zulu Victor. Mooney, November 4361 Hotel. November 61 Hotel, the Seville Altimeter 2996. Mooney, November 4361 Hotel, Quebec Radio. Uh, one more time for 4361 Hotel. Number 4361 Hotel, uh, the altimeter in Setil, 2996. 2996. Quebec Radio, Mooney, November 4361 Hotel is currently over the Yankee Zulu Victor VOR en route to uh, Charlie Yankee, Yankee Romeo Goose Bay. Currently IFR at 900,000 feet, two hours en route remaining. Uh, looking for uh, weather along the remainder of the route. Uh, yeah, Goose Bay, uh, weather on the hour, winds calm, visibility 1.5, light shower rain, 900 few, 2,800 few, feeding 5,900 broken, 9,000 overcast, temperature 10, zero, 2.5, altimeter 3001. Currently en route to Goose Bay, uh, just past uh, Yankee Zulu Victor, and uh, about to enter uncontrolled airspace for the first time on this trip. Uh, so radar service is terminated. Uh, the map, uh, the IFR chart goes from white 
the green because now we are flying IFR in uncontrolled airspace uh, without talking to uh, any air traffic controllers and uh, just uh, talking to other airplanes on interflight for uh, separation. Going to be re entering controlled airspace about 100 or about 80 miles uh, in range of Goose Bay. Currently 106 nautical miles out from Goose Bay. And uh, as you can see on the iPad here, we're still in uh, the green, the uncontrolled airspace, but getting up to the boundary for controlled airspace. So it's time to uh, contact into our uh, center and uh, make contact again before re entering controlled airspace. Good afternoon, Gander Center, Mooney, November 4361 Hotel, 100 miles southwest of Goose Bay. November 4361 Hotel, good day, squawk it in. We're level at 9 or 1,000, Moody 4361 Hotel. 61 Hotel, you're radar identified. Goose altimeter 3000. 3000, Moody November 4361 Hotel. Roger. Goose, air for information, Kilo, weather issued at 1700 Zulu. Winds calm, visibility 15 statute miles. Find layer speed 1200, skew 3500, scattered 5900, broken 9300. Temperature 10, dew point 6, altimeter 3000. Cruise bridge, Monday, November 4361 Hotel has runway 08 in sight. 4361 Hotel is cleared to the Goose Bay Airport, straight in visual approach, runway 08, over to Tower 921. Clear for the visual, 08, over to Tower 119.1, Monday, November 4361 Hotel, good day. Good afternoon, Tower, Monday, November 4361 Hotel, descending out of 3500, visual 08. 61 Hotel, winds are 2607, altimeter 3000, number 1. 3000, number 1, Monday, November 4361 Hotel. 61 Hotel, winds are 2705, clear to land, runway 08. Little land 08, Monday, November 4361 Hotel. Good, we're just gonna call in for customs first and then we'll be able to disembark. Reach the Canada Border Services Agency Telephone Reporting Center. Bonjour, vous allez bien rejoint le centre de déclaration par téléphone de l'agence de services frontaliers du Canada. To continue in English, please press 1. Pour continuer. For general information or inquiries about the CDSA programs, services and initiatives, please press 1. To report your arrival into Canada, please press 2. Please have your travel documents ready. The Border Services Officer will ask you for specific details about your travel documents, which will assist in facilitating your entry into Canada. Please note that although cannabis, marijuana, is legal and regulated in Canada as of October 17, 2018, it remains illegal to bring it across the border. Are any persons on board bringing cannabis or goods containing cannabis into Canada? If so, please ensure to declare it to the Border Services Officer. Your call is being transferred. One moment, please. Can I help you? Yes, good day. Uh, Mooney, November 4361 Hotel just arrived into Goose Bay. 4361 Hotel? Affirmative. Okay, just 
you on board, right? That's correct. Okay, one second. All right, your clearance is 2019-1840-462. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Have a good day. Bye. -bye. Bye. So it's just a matter of calling in and getting a number. One time in one of my trips to Canada, they came and checked us out with the car. But most of the time, they, you call in, they give you a number, and you're all set to go. Just uh, arrived into Goose Bay. Ooh, and boy, is it chilly. Gotta get my jacket. Uh, left New York. <laughs> it was probably like 85 degrees, roasting. And uh, now it's freezing. About uh, 10 Celsius on the ground. I'd say that's about... 45 degrees. It was a pretty quick flight. Uh, it went uh, a little faster than expected. Got here in seven hours and uh, non-stop all the way from Linden. It had a good flight. Now ready to go and start uh, sightseeing in Canada. They have the strangest nose wheel chocks here I've ever seen. They just go and wrap the big rope around the nose wheel. pair of water bombers at Goose Bay. The Labrador Military Museum, it's just the side corner of the shopping store at the airport. 